I would never give you another chance to treat me like a piece of shit again. I feel like most of us probably ain't even have like good relationships in our life to look up to. And sometimes when things are going so well for people, they want to run from it. You should only put as much energy into another person as you can put into yourself. Don't never put yourself on the back burner to make sure another person is okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to the channel, which is Sarah BNA. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, Miss Mamas. And when you do, make sure you turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from me because I've been uploading like crazy, okay? Um, today's video, we are going to have a chit chat, a girls talk, discussing friendships and relationships and more. So, if you're interested in that type of thing and you want to see how I did my hair and makeup, then keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe. Um, y'all know I'm really vulnerable and open and close with y'all because I pulled up in my bonnet for today's video. That's crazy. But just to let y'all know, I got flexi rods in my hair right now. And I do not want to take them out until the very end. Because I want the curls to last, you know. So anyways, let's jump into today's discussion. I'm so excited to be filming a girl talk with you guys. Because I got a lot to talk about. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So y'all know, first off, we have a new setup. Hello, we in my bedroom with it today because... I just want to change the scenery and I hope you guys appreciate it. But I will be doing my makeup in today's video, of course. Um, it's not a tutorial, so I will be flying through the products, all that good stuff. If, if y'all want an actual tutorial from me, then comment down below. But I don't think people be like really caring about the beauty stuff anymore for real for real and y'all got this fat ass pimple under my eyes so disrespectful because i'm coming on my cycle i really just don't appreciate how your body will just f you over just because you decided not to have a child how you gonna punish me that's crazy but anyways today i want to talk about friendships and relationships Something I rarely talk about on my channel because I'm living a good life. I'm living a soft life and I don't really have too many problems, but huh, it's probably because I've been through some shit in my past. So my life has finally calmed down in those areas, but I realized y'all been going through hell the past couple of years. This entire video, that's what I just used. This entire video was um, inspired by the TikTok trend that's going around right now. Everybody and their mama is dishing out their secrets and dishing out the bullshit that they've been experiencing through the last couple of years. Um, they basically have been doing like a recap of the year that just passed. And people have been cheated on multiple times. People have been shot at. People, mamas, daddies, granddaddies, boyfriends, girlfriends have passed away. Lord, I can feel you in that department. But it's just like, dang, y'all been going through hell. I've been, re I've been looking at some of the TikToks and you know, I'm nosy. So I'm gonna definitely pause the page so I can read. And it's saying something like, yeah, my nigga broke up with me we got back together then i found out i was pregnant so we decided to try out for our family and then we broke up because i went through his phone and i realized that he got his ex-girlfriend pregnant so now we both pregnant with twins on the way and we broke up we got back together and then he got shot at so i stayed with him because i didn't want him to go through that by himself and then my grandmother died and then my father died and then my uncle died and then you know i had to mourn and and grieve and all that good stuff and then i started my business and i took a trip and now my life is flourishing what? Be fucking for real. <laughs> Be fucking for real. So based off that, y'all have made me realize that y'all been going through some trials and tribulations. And I want to make sure that we talk about some things on my channel here. Because I don't want my girlies. I don't want my friends. Y'all, my family. To be going through some crazy stuff with people just because... Y'all trying to thug it out with them. Nah, -uh, so we about to get into some things, okay? Today's video is all about me being the honest friend to y'all. And hopefully, I hope y'all realize that y'all shouldn't be experiencing what y'all are experiencing and that y'all deserve more. And um, 
hopefully this is this is going to cause you to experience some self-reflection so we can figure out what's going on because by the looks of it baby y'all going through hell and i don't appreciate that for y'all that's not okay so i got some notes on my phone because i really want to talk about a few things specifically and i don't want this video to be all over the place so i can't prepare first things first is signs that something is no longer serving you therefore you should peep and dip and i'm doing this entire makeup look today all with this lulu ass mirror so i'm gonna need y'all to bear with me just in case we end up looking crazy in the end all right but anyways i want y'all to talk i want y'all to think about the relationships and the friendships that you are currently in and i want you to really ask yourself is this still serving me how i felt it was serving me in the beginning um do I still feel as though it brings value to my life? Does this person and does this person bring value to my life? And does this relationship or friendship that I'm in bring value to my life? Okay. Both answers should be yes. And if you had to think and pause and hesitate with your answer, then baby, something ain't right. Okay. Something ain't right. I feel like a sign that your friendship or your relationship is no longer serving you anymore is if you feel really stagnant in that situationship. And I'm going to say situationship to cover relationships and friendships because both can play interchangeably, okay? So if you have not felt any growth in that situationship in a really long time, it's probably no longer serving you. It probably... Um, felt fulfilling in the beginning and then you probably just felt comfortable in that situation ship and that made you stay that probably made you um experience some things the smarter you wouldn't have sat through but the comfortable you has just allowed you and that relationship that bond that you have with that person to stay stagnant for all this time and i feel like you need to peep it and you need to dip because it's 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 no longer aiding to your life. So why would you stick through it? Why would you continue to stick by that person's side? And you're not getting nothing from it. That's doing you a disservice for real, for real. So have you ever been in a friendship or relationship and you realize y'all talk about the same shit 24-7? Um, you talk about the same people over and over again. I hate that. That makes me so uncomfortable when somebody talks to me about the same person or the same people over and over again. Mm makes me feel like you're probably doing the same thing to me right now I, feel, I look really orange and i promise you i'm not orange this pimple blowing me let us pray i can cover it with some um concealer but i promise you i'm not giving up a little bit in real life okay and let's keep it a buck i had to leave a french a friendship that i really value because i felt like it wasn't going anywhere and uh that was just it like sometimes it's, it's not about you beefing with somebody sometimes it's not about having like a a huge fallout and that's the reason why you um no longer talk to that person sometimes you literally just outgrow people and that's what life is about like literally i don't look at that as a bad thing anymore because everybody goes through that eventually okay unpopular opinion i think today's society puts too much uh we give too much credit to friendships that i've had for the past 20 years or relationships i've been with um relationships i've been in for the past 10 years and you still ain't got a ring or y'all still not engaged or you still ain't start a family or something i know every situation has its own ups and downs and reasons as to why you're not moving in a certain direction but if you haven't done anything drastic in that friendship that you've had for the past 30 years and y'all just still call each other up every day to talk about barbara from down the street baby you need to leave that friendship and go seek something else from someone else like because what is it even giving what is it even doing for you at this point no please do not call my phone and expect me to gossip with you that's not gonna happen please don't call my phone expecting me to talk about people with you because that's not gonna happen i understand getting someone's perspective to see if they were in the wrong or not but let's not make this a 24 7 thing because that's just not what i'm here for i'm i'm literally here to support you in any other way but that okay Tuh, and then relationships if you if you with a nigga and y'all talk about the same things do the same things argue about the same things y'all ain't going on no trips y'all don't go on dates y'all don't date each other how you gonna be in a relationship when you don't date one another 
I feel like in order to keep me, you have to continue doing what you did to get me. Like, don't get lazy. What? Like, continue to put that effort in. If y'all doing the same exact thing y'all was doing back in 2018 and we going into 2023, you need to reevaluate who you with and why you with that person and if it still serves you. And if it doesn't, gracefully remove them out of your life. You don't even gotta be like, you know, wild about it. And if you don't, you just gonna eventually stun your own growth. So it's okay to be selfish sometimes because sometimes that could be the best thing for you. Next thing I want to talk about is giving second chances and knowing when to stop. Hmm. T. So, I see both sides to giving second chances. Meaning, I think they are both a good thing and they can also be a bad thing. This is not the concealer that I want to use. Let me focus while I mess myself up. I feel like if someone is really deserving of a second chance, then that's different. And I feel like that's when it's okay. I've been in a situation where I fucked up and somebody gave me a second chance and I really appreciated it. I feel as though people are humans and we make mistakes and everything happens for a reason. And um, sometimes you gotta make a mistake to learn from it. And you can, those people who actually learn from their mistakes and do better, once they give, once they are given a second chance, those are the best people on earth. When other people get second chances and just play you, they say they're gonna change and then nothing ever happens. I feel like those are some of the worst people on earth because that means you put your trust into them and they just say F you. Like I know what I'm gonna do, I know what I'm about, but you was just too gullible and you actually gave me a second chance. That's ruthless. And I don't appreciate people like that. But it's a lot of people out there like that. This is probably like the wildest example of them all. But you know, let's say someone cheated on another person. I've cheated before. And I learned from that mistake to the point where I will never do that again. Like, that's what I mean. When, some, when somebody learns from the mistake and they really like self-reflect and they dig deep within themselves to make those changes, mwah, chef's kiss, we love them. But it's a difference when you realize somebody gave you a second chance because that person has a soft spot in their heart for them and you just F them over and continue to do the same thing. That is so wrong, that is so rude, that is so wow. And this is coming from a person who knows that all too well because she's been there before. I have to be honest, okay? I am not gonna sugarcoat things in this girl's talk. I am a cancer and so, this is not all about zodiacs, but I know me personally in my past because I've grown from it. I used to be a very emotionally manipulative motherfucker. I know how to get under people's skin. I know to say the one thing that's just gonna make you flip. I don't like to do low blows or throw things in people's face because I don't like when that's done to me, but if you irritated the fuck out of me and I wanna fuck you over, I know exactly what to say, how to say it to make that thing sting, okay? You're gonna be mad at me and that's why I keep my mouth closed now and that's why I don't like to argue with motherfuckers because I know how ruthless my mouth can get. But when you have arguments with people and like they really are serious about changing the person that they are to become a better person for you, for themselves, that's when I love second chances. But you gotta be smart to know this. Okay, I gave you a second chance when you did this dumb shit last year or last month and now you doing some other dumb shit and you're no longer changing. Now I'm now I'm being taken as fool. And now I need to realize when I need to stop giving out second chances. It's this thing called second chance credit, second chance apartments, second chance banking accounts for a reason. It's never called a third chance. I feel as though you should get two chances and, and you're done. Two chances and you're done. Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. But fool me three times, I won't even give you. I would never give you another chance to treat me like a piece of shit again. I don't know who said that or even if that's the right words, but that's honestly something that y'all should live by because in them TikToks, y'all was going through hell over and over and over and over again. Baby, what are you going to learn? It's, it's the thing called self self-respect it's this thing called self-respect i'm starting to realize that some of my daddies don't got that i don't know if it's daddy issues i don't know if 
I feel like most of us probably ain't even have like good relationships in our life to look up to. I don't know what the root of it is, but we gotta put a stop to it because y'all are too good of, I don't know who y'all are, but I'ma assume that y'all are good people. And if you are, you're too good of a person to be going through the same bullshit over and over again. If you ain't never do this before, this is a tip. Blend the edges of your concealer out with the same brush you apply your foundation with. Don't add more foundation because you don't need any more product on your face. Just blend it out with the remaining products. Yikes. Let me find out I really know some things. Because what? Things was looking real harshly before I did that. Anyway, let's move on to the next topic. Staying where you're comfortable. That can be the worst decision you ever do in your life. And this, oh, so many things in your life can be applied to this topic. Staying where you are comfortable. Lord knows a lot of people do that. Why? Out of comfortability. A lot of people love feeling comfort. A lot of people love being with people who are familiar, being in places that feel familiar. And honestly it just really stunts your growth and it can be the worst setback that you could possibly put yourself in you guys should i use something different today i have this uh laura mercier mercier um translucent powder because i kind of want a bright under eye damn it's not even coming out the damn container hold on now I can't tell if I like it yet. I can't tell if I dislike it yet. Sir. So, okay, staying where you're comfortable. I feel like a lot of people glorify comfortability in your life or in situationships. And I don't. Quite frankly, I love feeling uncomfortable. Especially when it comes to your goals in life. I feel like if you're doing the same thing all the time, you're hanging out with the same people all the time, you're never gonna push yourself to meet new people, you're never gonna push yourself to try new things. In the end, you're gonna feel so comfortable all the time that you eventually stunt your growth because you're not gonna know nothing else but that. While everybody else is growing and evolving around you, you still stuck in the same old spot because you're too scared to try something new or do something that's out of your comfort zone. Boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. You should, you should not live life like that. That's pussy fitting around life. I felt the most uncomfortable in my life after my grandmother passed away. I lost her back in, I mean, July of 2021. I lost my grandmother. And I felt so uncomfortable just being in that home, being in her house, because everything in that house reminded me of her. I was sad 24-7. I couldn't even get up and go brush my teeth, y'all, because, I mean, I did, but I would crawl in the way because she used to be the first person that I talked to in the morning. Because um, the bathroom that I would use was right across from her bedroom. So, of course, before I go get myself together i'm gonna check to my girl because that was my girl so being in the house after i lost her was just the worst thing ever to me and i knew i was so uncomfortable that it was going to eventually force me to grow out of that situation so like i said i lost her in july baby by november i was out in my own apartment I forced myself to get a job because back then I was like my own boss doing YouTube and stuff. And that was cool because I wasn't paying no bills. But baby, now I pay grown woman bills. So got myself a nine to five. I work remotely. I'm still pushing, doing all my content and, and social media and stuff. And boom, boom, boom. Like that was the first time I ever applied for a real big girl job. And I got the one I wanted. That was the first time I ever applied for an apartment. And I got the first one that I ever applied for. Without losing my grandmother, Lord knows how long I would have stayed in that situation. And Lord knows how long I would have stayed in that house. Because that's all I knew. And I wish more people would look at discomfort in that light. Because it could do so much more for you. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. And the same goes for being with someone that you feel comfortable with. Girl, your husband could be right around the corner and you don't know it. All because you feel comfortable with the person you're with. Girl, if you don't kick that loser to the curb. <laughs> and now this video is not 
to like tell y'all to break up with y'all peoples and stop being friends with the people y'all been cool with since kindergarten. I'm just saying, sometimes a new thing is a good thing. That's all Tara is saying. Okay, okay, period. I'm flying through my little face or whatever. I know that's right. Boom, okay, next topic I wanna talk about is self-sabotaging a good thing. I usually always say that word wrong, so don't kill me. But let's talk about people who self-sabotage. Okay, I don't think I've ever self-sabotaged like in a relationship per se, but I have been on the receiving end. And sometimes when things are going so well for people, they want to run from it. And I feel like that's the worst, one of the worst things you could do. You could really lose out on a good person because you're scared of being in a good thing. I haven't been with a person who like hasn't been used to relationships a lot and they um they're feeling so many emotions that are coming from the relationship that is scaring them away or you may be that person yourself yeah don't do that babes don't do that because you deserve a good thing and sometimes people hi i'm one of these people can be so used to toxicity that when they get into a good healthy relationship they don't know no better. They don't know how to act. They think everything that they're experiencing that's good is weird because unfortunately they've been on the receiving end of some bullshit in their past. Let me give you an example. So I was in a toxic relationship, but this person was so insecure within themselves that doing this thing was a normal thing in our relationship. I would get dressed and I'd take a picture and I would send it to him and be like, this is okay? Before I go out somewhere. Like, say I'm going to the movies. I'd take a picture of my outfit and be like, is this okay? <sighs> Woo, girl, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? And I would really, like, wait on his response. And if it wasn't okay, best believe I was told to change. And I thought that was a normal thing to experience in a relationship. I think out of habit, I did it with another person. And they was like, what you mean? Like, you got that shit on? Like, like it look good? Like, that's a, that's a good outfit. Like, I see the drip. Like, was giving compliments. Not to approve or disapprove of your outfit. Blasphemy. I know. That's how it should be. But I was taken aback. Like, oh. I used to get in arguments with a certain person. And I just knew that... A lot of disrespect was gonna follow it and this person was just gonna be mean to me for the rest of the day. I get in a, a disagreement, cause not, it's not even, it really don't even be arguments. I would get into a disagreement nowadays and the person is still very sweet to me, very loving on me. We will get over things immediately. We, ugh, I used to be, I used to have an argument at 8 a.m. in the morning, y'all, before I even get to school and we will beef all day. No, that is so childish. Get over it. Say your piece in the same mind and get over it. Y'all supposed to be in a relationship. You're supposed to be lovey-dovey. Like, you're not supposed to. You never. You should not be beefing with the person you're in a relationship with. That's crazy. So I hope y'all know that I'm not. I ain't judging nobody who did a TikTok trend because, baby, I used to be right there with you. I look crazy with half a lip done. But next topic is prioritizing yourself and your relationship simultaneously. Ooh, okay. So, and this goes for relationships and friendships. Y'all know sometimes, and I've been there before, accidentally. Sometimes you can get in a new relationship and forget all about your friendships. That was something I saw in the TikTok trends too. Like me and him broke up, so this friend was really there for me and helped me get through it all. Or I started going out more. Some people were saying they started drinking more. Don't don't turn to alcohol now. But definitely, you know, surrounding yourself with people that truly love you as you're going through a breakup is really important. It's more important to keep those friendships around you while you're in your relationship. Don't ever put your homegirls to the side or put them on the back burner just because you get got just because you got into a new relationship. That's not fair to them. They were there before the nigga. They may be there after the nigga. So don't do them like that, okay? And I get it. If you're in the honeymoon phase and you know, you in a new relationship, it's you feel you feel like it should be all about your nigga. And you may not purposefully mean to put your friends on the back burner but sometimes it can happen just because you're in something that's new to you um it happens but 
hopefully your friends are good people and you know they they reach out they let you know hey i miss you i want to hang out i know you're in a new relationship now but when you get the time let's chill i hate when a bitch call your phone and be like you acting different just immediately start arguing with you baby relax who the fuck you think you're talking to check yourself before you try to check me because i don't have time for that it's a it's a correct way to come at somebody and all you gotta say is you miss that person don't start acting crazy because i can get crazy right with your ass and then i would hate if y'all were to get in relationships and forget about yourself like you no longer take care of yourself because you so focused on taking care of the next person uh-uh as much you should only put as much energy into another person as you can put into yourself don't never put yourself on the back burner to make sure another person is okay and don't do more and don't give more than what you're getting that's something i had to realize too well yeah y'all let me drown my face really quickly i was glad to see that a lot of people in the comments of most of these tiktok videos were like of people being nice like oh babe i'm glad you got through it i hope you're feeling better i would say try to be nice when y'all comment okay you never know what could be someone's breaking point i hate how everybody bullied um PNB Rock's girlfriend when everything was going down just to find out that it had nothing to do with her post at all. Like, that's crazy. And I know, I know, I know everybody that said something was not pressed or did not rush to, to send her an apology. I'm about to do my mascara. That's it for my face. I think that was the last talking point that I had. Okay, I think the face is eating. So now it's time to take my hair out. I'm gonna look crazy in the beginning, but you know, just disregard. I'm sure y'all have worn flexi rods before and you, we all know they look crazy at first. We're gonna get this together, okay? And if you ain't like this video yet, baby, what you doing? Let me go ahead and give you a moment to do that because I feel like this was a good girl chat so far. I'm excited to edit it and put it out for y'all. I've been rolling out with the content lately, if I do say so myself. <sighs> so fun fact, this is a quick weave. And if you haven't seen my quick weave yet, it is the video that went out before this one. So make sure you go watch it. These flexi rods gave me a different kind of curl, but still heatless. So I love that for me. Come on, y'all. Let me go look in the mirror and I'm going to be right back. Okay, because I got to see what it's giving. Y'all think whole time it's a sock on my floor. So if you saw that in the background, just disregard. But anyways, this is the final look, you guys. I just went ahead and brushed out the hair and I did my edges a little bit. But anyways, um, thank y'all so much for watching today's girls chit chat video. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below about some of the experiences you've had or any advice you have to give for other women or anyone in general. Honestly, I don't want to gender it. That's something I definitely pride myself in doing is creating a community on my channel where people can engage with one another and have a discourse. So thanks so much for watching today's video and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye moms. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, yeah.